Hello, First Methodist Church family. My name is Kara Harris. I'm the director of events, and I'm talking to you today from my living room as I enjoy the lights of the Christmas tree and the warmth of the fireplace. These are some of my favorite things about this time of year. A tradition that my family has that we haven't yet parted with, even though my children are now in their upper years of elementary school, is the Little People Plastic Nativity Set. I remember when my son was a toddler and we first got this set, I arranged the pieces on the fireplace hearth and what I thought was the, the logical right places for them. And then I came back later and was surprised by how my son had rearranged them. And he continued to do that throughout the whole holiday season. And it was usually in some very strange scene. It usually looked like, you know, the angel had taken some horrible death and was face down and baby Jesus was often up on a palm tree and then sometimes we would have Mary in the back of the wagon and the donkey up where the angel should be and even though that would make me smile there was something that was just irritating to me about looking at this scene because it just wasn't right it wasn't the way that things are supposed to be and as I thought about this memory there's actually something that's fitting about the Advent season um, with this because the Advent season is a, a period of time in the church calendar in which we prepare for the celebration of Christmas. And so it's a time for remembering the deep longing of God's people as they longed for the arrival of Messiah. And then it's also a time as we recognize our deep longing for Christ to come again and to make all things new, to make all things right. And there, there's something that's built within each of us that really takes notice of when things are not right and they, they just cause us to pause. When, when someone is diagnosed with cancer or when a child dies or a relationship dissolves or we hear that someone was without food or they're being beaten and, and suffering there's something in our core that cries out this is not right this is not the way that things were meant to be and so in our celebration of christmas of the celebration of god coming to us in the flesh it also holds within that the promise of christ's return of the day when he will make everything new when he will make everything right and the way that it was intended to be when finally and at last we and all of god's creation will be made perfect and whole in his presence and i want to close this by just reading you some lyrics from a song by andrew peterson that's called all things new come broken and weary come battered and bruised my jesus makes all things new Come lost and abandoned, come blown by the wind, he'll bring you back home again. Rise up, O oh you sleeper, awake, the light of the dawn is upon you. Rise up, O oh you sleeper, awake, he makes all things new. Come frozen with shame, come burning with guilt, my Jesus, he loves you still. The world was good, the world is fallen, the world will be redeemed, so hold on to the promise, the stories are true, that Jesus makes all things new. As you prepare for the celebration of Christmas in this season of Advent, I just hope that there are moments that cause you to pause, to um, be left speechless by God's grace and by his overwhelming love that there is good news, the light of the dawn is upon us.